Hey, good morning everyone. I thought we would pick up where we left off with our last video, uh, the introduction to the shift register, the uh, 74HC595. And in this example here, we're using two of them. There's one there for the left digit, and there's one there for the right. And you can see here we also have two of the seven segment LEDs. And attached over here is a DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor. So what I've made here is just a simple uh, two digit LED temperature display. And it's nothing fancy, it's just a simple proof of concept showing you how you can use two shift registers. And we're now we're using six pins on the Arduino. If you remember from our first one, when we drove one of these, we used three pins, the clock, the latch, and the data. So now we simply doubled it, clock, latch, and data for the right digit, digit, clock, latch, and data for the left digit. Now let's go take a look at the code and bear in mind this code is rather lengthy, but it's very simple. It's just a bunch of repeating elements. All right, let's head over to the PC. All right, let's talk about the code for driving this two digit seven segment temperature. There's my little opening doodly doo. Now this first part right here is just the setup for the DHT temperature sensor. If you have a DHT temperature sensor and you're using the Adafruit uh, library, you can copy it just as is. The only thing you'll need to do is change what pin you have it plugged into. And if you have a 21 or a 22, you would have to change that. Okay. Next. This is our pinouts. Our right digit latch pin is on 12. Right digit clock pin is on 8. Right digit data pin is on 11. Left digit latch is on 7. Left digit clock is on 6. Left digit data is on 5. Now, if you remember our last one, where we made the single uh, seven segment count. Here we are again, we have our decimal values, which get converted into binary when we transfer them. And we're setting each one of them to a constant, zero, one, you know, so on and so on. So all we have to do is call that and it gets sent out to the seven segment displays. So here's our setup. We need to turn on the DHT sensor. Then we set both of our 74HC59. <laughs> I'm just going to call them 595s. We set both of the 595s pins uh, for output. Our DHT pin is set for input. Now here is our main loop. This is where we tell it there's going to be a sensor event get the event and that event is temperature. Um, the temperature is Celsius from the DHT11. This little formula on the end here will convert it to Fahrenheit. And then once we have that value right here, val is our Fahrenheit temperature, we call a function called LED draw. And this is where the long part of the code comes in, uh, folks. We're using switch case to do this. It's not hard, it's just long. So we switch on the variable val, and we start with case zero. We set both of our latch pins low, that tells the shift registers to expect data. And then we shift out 
our left digit and our right digit, 0, 0. If the case is 1, then we shift out 0, 1, 0, 2. And this goes all the way down to 99. Remember, when you're done with your shift out, what you have to do is take your latch pins high so that the shift register stops listening. Now, I know this is a lot of programming, uh, but as I said before, all my sketches are available now on Dropbox, and there is a link in the description below. So you feel free to copy this and use it for yourself. So anyway, after LED draw, we wait two seconds, and we go back into it. It's that simple. Let's go take a look at it in action. All right, now you've seen the code. So let's put some power to this and see it in action. Yep, it's pretty cold in here, uh, 56 degrees. Let's see if we can warm it up a little bit. I thought that would have some effect. Let me try this. There we go. A little bit of hot breath on it. Warms it up pretty nice, but you know, it'll go back down soon enough. Um, all of my sketches are now available on Dropbox. So there is a link down the bottom in the description that you can click on in case you want to use any of my sketches, feel free. They're all in the public domain. And if you enjoyed this video or you learned something, how about giving me a thumbs up and uh, sharing it. Getting this information out there helps everyone. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what the heck are you waiting for? I'll see you next time.